What's going on everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel and if you can't tell by the title, today I'm going to show you guys some digital painting tips and tricks using Photoshop CS5. Before I get started, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Vince and I've just recently graduated from college in an independent illustration program. So I'm going to bring to you guys what I've learned in school, help you guys get better in digital painting, and hopefully help myself get my name out there. Before we actually get started with digital painting, today I'm going to actually show you guys what the difference between painting with the mouse and painting with a tablet is. For those of you guys who don't know what a tablet is, it is a pressure and touch sensitive pad that actually connects to your computer using a USB cord. So what this pad comes with is also a pressure sensitive pen. Now this acts like you're using a pencil and paper, so actually getting that traditional style drawing but digitally. So let's open up Photoshop and I'll show you guys what I mean. So once your Photoshop is open, you're going to go to File, New, and you're going to create a new document or canvas size. Right now I'm just using a regular paper size, 8.5 by 11, but what's different is my resolution. I think when you open up Photoshop it starts with 72 resolution. You're going to want to change that to 300 and sometimes even 400. That's what I prefer. That's what I use most of the time when doing my digital painting because the higher the resolution, the more crisp and better looking your digital painting is going to be. But what you have to remember is the higher the resolution, the bigger the image size. So I think 300 to 400 is usually the best. For the color mode, I prefer CMYK. Uh, CMYK is the best if you want to print something after. So if you enjoy and you really like your digital painting and you want to print it out, CMYK is the best color mode for that. So after you're done all that, you're going to name it whatever you like. So I'll just name mine whatever. So click OK. So now your canvas is up and uh, I'm on a Mac. So the shortcut to make this full screen, I'm going to click F once. And now my thing, my canvas is full screen. So before I get started, I just want to explain the layout of my Photoshop right now. So on the left, you have your toolbar, your essential toolbar with your brush, your eraser, and everything that you're going to need. On the top is actually all your brushes um, and the opacity and flow. I'm going to get back to this before we get started. And these two buttons is essential when you were using your tablet. These are the pressure sensitive tablet. So on my right hand side I have the navigator and layers. And for those of you guys that don't know what navigator it is, it is your canvas on the right side that you can zoom in and out of. This will help you of looking what your document looks like from afar if it looks good and if you want to get it into small places you can zoom in. Uh, if you do not have the navigator up you're going to want to go to window and navigator. The check marks shows what is up, so I have my layers up and I have my navigator up. All right. So some quick shortcuts to get to your brush. You're gonna tap the letter B, and it will bring to your brush. Um, size. If you want to change the size of your brush, you use your brackets. So the right bracket makes your brush bigger, and the left bracket makes it smaller. So now I'm gonna get my mouse. I am using a 60 just a hard brush and I'm going to show you guys the difference between the mouse and the, pr the pressure sensitive pen. So here's the mouse and you can tell that it's jagged you know it's it's all the same with the pen the, the sorry the brush and this is not going to help you a lot I think it's actually impossible to digital paint with uh, a mouse like it, it's it's extremely hard it is so once you're digital painting I usually digital paint people or caricature people to get um, the eyes and the you know the jawline you're gonna want to use a nice smooth motion so now I'm gonna pick up my pressure sensitive pen and I'm using the exact same brush size but watch the difference You see, it's the same size, but it's the pressure. So if I go lightly, it's thin. If I press hard, it goes thick. Now this is really, really going to help you when drawing, you know. If you want to get your face in real quick, the thin lines really help 
withdrawing. Now also the pressure sensitive if these are deactivated on the top it's not going to work at the same. These actually help with the pressure and uh, the actual angle of your brush. If you hold it on a certain angle you'll get different you'll get different styles and stuff like that. So this is essential I think when digital painting I have a Wacom tablet. I think it's a Wacom Craft. I think it's a hundred bucks or so. It's a small tablet, but if you guys want honestly digital paint, I think this is the best bet for you. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm actually going to put up a series and guide you guys through one of my digital paintings. So please stay tuned. If you guys like what you see, leave comments, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks.